know, I think the best part about Rocket Day is the evening following Rocket Day. Because you have to get up really early, it's a long drive, it's hot in the desert, and you walk a million miles, and you get home, you're super tired, and either things worked really well, and you're happy, or they didn't, and your head is full of ideas. Either way, have a little nip of scotch or something like that, and it's just a, I don't know, it's a great time. All right, here we are at the border, picking up Mr. Alberto. <laughs> you went by me. I did. <laughs> I was busy making a movie. Well, it's a beautiful morning for a rocket launch. Today we're going to try to launch and recover the Coyote rocket at least twice, hopefully three times. Let's go. Go ahead. Okay, on three, two, one, go. You know, you couldn't hope for a much more beautiful flight than that. The rocket came down great. There's no damage to it. Now the only question is, is can we do it again? Let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. Okay, so we pulled out the aperture detector and we figured we would test it before uh, we did it again. And we found that there's a wire that broke um, this is a little three-way switch, or a double pull, double throw, single pull, double throw. It's a switch. Snap switch. Whatever. This wire broke off, and it broke off right where it goes into this epoxy, where it's soldered on the other side of that switch. So it broke off in kind of the one place where we can't get at it to fix it. So it's a good thing we tested it, because the rocket would have crashed. And in the future, it's good to know now that that might be a potential weak spot. We could put maybe some kind of armored cable around it or heat shrink tubing. But this heat shrink tubing that we put around the little switch held, worked great for holding it together. So that's good. But we're going to see if we can dig this out a little bit and see what we can do. So we'll uh, be back in a minute. Okay, so here's the inside of the aperture detector. And here is that wire that broke off exactly where it goes into the epoxy and we dug in there a little bit but you can get the strands of wire out but you know without a soldering iron and even with it I just don't want to risk the rocket because right now we've got a perfectly good rocket that we can reuse next month all I have to do is just drill out that switch put in another one and go ahead and fix it and fly it again and I think that it's actually kind of a good thing because now we know that that's a weak spot it might have failed in the past um, and we didn't even know about it. So now I think if we make that spot armored, just like we made this switch reinforced here, like that, I think, uh, I think this might increase the reliability to the point where I want it to be. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pack it up. So one flight today, unfortunately not two, maybe next month. All right, so it was a great day, great first flight, great recovery, great weather, everything was perfect. Um, too bad that wire broke, but you know what? I'd rather spend two hours working on fixing it with the rocket that I know I can bring out in a couple weeks rather than building a whole thing from scratch. So, hey, also for you guys who missed it, um, the rocket skateboard work I did for, uh, for G4. Here it is. Check it out. Okay.
There he goes. Oh. Land it, land it, land it. Oh. <laughs> so close. After several tests, we finally got the right amount of thrust for the rocket. So then why did the pro fall off? Because it's a skateboard with a rocket attached, people, it's a little bit more difficult to ride. 